Man's contract. I have to ask, you know, if you did not miss the deadline to renew his contract, um, why the resignation and settlement agreement agrees to pay him, you know, for another nine months plus benefits, please. All right, thanks, Steve. Thank you. Um, so the only answer I have to that is that the um, board did what was in the best interest of the district. Um, and then I'm going to move on to um, actually take a moment to acknowledge that we have received Dr. Ricca's um, resignation or agreed to Dr. Ricca's resignation as was publicized last week. And, um, and as Stephen mentioned when he called me earlier today, it seems all dark and ominous and secret because of the, um, the limited public statement and the uh, <coughs> disclosure agreements. And I just want to say that, um, as I said to Stephen earlier today, we as an employer really value the confidentiality of our personnel and we would hold the same for any employee in the district. And um, we all wish Brian the absolute best in his next challenges and next endeavors and we look forward to hearing, out, hearing soon what those might be. Um, and uh, I think we're all gonna miss his enthusiasm and positive energy and we're going to have to teach the new superintendent to say happy Monday, <laughs> <laughs> as well as Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and good morning. Thank you. Thank you. So that's all I have to say. Um, but I'm going to move to the consent agenda. Can I please add uh, three items to, four items to the consent agenda, all of which are in front of you? There are three sets of minutes, two for March 26th, one for March 29th, as well as a co-curricular appointment on the blue paper. All right, so those are in addition to the approval of the minutes of March 21st and the approval of warrants and for payroll and accounts payable for April 13th and the approval of a bid on the Union Elementary School bathroom project. Um, and I, I would like to remove one item from the consent agenda to ask a question about it. Can I just do that or do we need to? You can just do that. Okay, great. So I'm gonna remove the bathroom bid from the consent agenda and um, then I would love a motion on the remaining consent agenda items. A move that we approve the consent agenda as outlined uh, on the agenda and by the superintendent with the exception of the bathroom bid. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. <coughs> on the UES bathroom bid, um, when we, t we saw bathroom plans a couple months ago and um, we had the architect here from Black River and it was in the context of the budget conversation. And I remember Lisa Frost, um, one of the representatives from Roxbury, pointing out that one of the bathrooms we were constructing was um, intended to be a gender neutral bathroom, but had a urinal symbol in it, which seemed inconsistent with a gender neutral bathroom. And we were told at that time that we would have a another opportunity to actually look at plans. And I just wonder if this is a different bathroom bid or I believe so because ahead? I think what we this looked at we were talking about the bond with yeah. the yeah. 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 The bond includes two bathrooms for UES. Okay. This is a third bathroom, so there are three that need done. We were wanting to do this one with fund balance so there'd be an operational bathroom okay. before right. we actually got into yeah. the construction project with the bond and then closed down two sets of bathrooms. So those two that you're talking about, we will have time to- To go back to those plans. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. All right, that's can all I, that I- Can I ask a question? Since you pulled it off. I probably wouldn't have raised it otherwise, so it's more of a question for Grant. Grant, 
that, why is it that the board has to approve the bid? Is that a statutory requirement? Yeah. It is over a certain dollar amount. This one, um, this one probably isn't over the statutory limit. It is in line with what we have established. Mm -hmm. as I think we established 50,000, yeah. I think was what we had established. Mm -hmm. that the next board meeting might approve the policy that would make it a policy that would do that. Um, so because it's kind of already above the threshold that we were considering, and because it's a use of fund balance, I just figured it was a good time. Yep. I don't disagree. I just wanted to understand. Thank you. Don't no. <clears throat> no, we have to approve um, money that's a change in what was designated for fund balance? Um, it would be, but this is within the fund balance allocation, so we're, we're good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, so can I have a motion? I move to approve the bid for UBS bathroom. Second. All those <coughs> in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so then we have um, item four under limitations 2.7. Compensation and benefits. There's a just a change in our HRA situation, or just our approval of what has been set up. Just our approval. So the HRA for Montpelier Public Schools <coughs> took effect on January first. Okay. Obviously, there were a lot of things going on, trying to make sure people were getting paid. So there were kind of two items. One, make sure everybody's getting paid and all that's processing well. Two, get a plan document to us. I told Health Equity, I'm not in a rush on the plan document, just make sure that you process payments first. Mm -hmm. And so it, I didn't push them, so this is just now the plan document coming to us. I realize it's kind of, it's almost like a moot point because in three months it we won't pertain anymore. Much, right? So there'll be a new plan document that the new board will have to approve. But this is just a cleanup to document um, that we have a plan document in place for the rest of the fiscal year. And it's it's boilerplate. I know it's a long document, but it's it's pretty much boilerplate, and it reflects the plan that we've had in place since January first. Okay. Any questions or comments from from the board? This is standard stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. I move we accept the HRA <coughs> plan document. And do you need a and approve grant to sign the plan document? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, there we go. Thanks. Um, <clears throat> so item five, um, under limitations 2.4, financial planning and budgeting, we have a fund balance realignment, which I understand is good news. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you got a, a, a one-page fund balance sheet. And basically what happened is, um, <coughs> Although you'll notice my comments, I didn't update my comments, I apologize, I forgot to update the comments. So the high school bathrooms and the middle, street, middle uh, school boiler room project, all the bills have cleared, were all done, and on the bathrooms we came in about $10,000 under what was reserved, for the, committed for fund balance, and for the boiler room about 11400 below what we had committed from fund balance. So what I wanted to do is just clean that up and, and before auditors get here, the least number of things that are on that fund balance list, trying to get zeros and clean it up, this would zero out those two lines and clean that up. So all I was asking for is in, instead of changing the committed fund balance amount, mm -hmm. just take those amounts from those designated projects and roll it into the bond architect work because we are still, as you know, Michelle, we are still meeting with architect, doing yeah. plans. So we're still gonna incur those bills. So I just wanna make sure we have a little extra in there. Um, and then whenever we get the bond and we start billing against the bond, then whatever's left over, we can zero that out as well. And perhaps at that point, we might even be looking at rolling it, uncommitting that money and just putting it back into fund balance. Okay. Um, I do want to just mention one thing because most of you are on the next board as well. Um, the next board is going to have a resolution, um, I forget what the language is, um, declaration of intent to reimburse bond expenses. What that is about and why it relates to this 
is that's the declaration that we would need if we want to use the bond in July to pay any bills that we incurred before we got the bond, so we can use the bond proceeds. So this bond architecture work, I'm hoping we don't spend it all, and we also have the opportunity to go back and try to charge the bond proceeds for some of this and give it back to the fund balance. Okay. But for right now, this is just a cleanup to, um, to remove the excess from two lines and put it into a third. Um, so I think there's there was some like suggested language on on what the motion would consist yeah, it's in of. The memo. Yep. Yeah, in Brian's memo. Yep. Uh, so would somebody like to? I move that we realign twenty one thousand four hundred fifty dollars and fifty two cents of committed fund balance, maintaining a total balance of one million three hundred four thousand four hundred twelve. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Grant. Thank you, Grant. And that is it for Mod Killier.